hey guys welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be showing you how to create a google cloud storage bucket and upload files to it so if you are looking for a video like that you have come to the right place so there are two ways of uploading files to google cloud storage uh, and i will be walking you through those two process one is using the browser and the other one is using the command line so I will be starting with the browser and then after that we will go ahead and use the command line to create and upload files to the cloud storage bucket so let's get to it so I'm going to go to my Google platform account that is GCP account so I'll go here console uh, actually the GCP console uh, console so that will take me to my account so I'm going to click here and by default it's logged me in um, yeah so this is the Google platform uh, I mean this is the GCP browser platform uh, that comes by default once you get logged in so here this is where my projects are located and I currently do have two projects this is the one that I mostly use so I'm going to select that and um, right here this is my project it's been selected so I'm going to go to this navigation menu here so I'm click I'm going to click that and I'm going to go here so I do currently have Google Cloud Storage pinned if you do not have it there um, you can click down here uh, more products and scroll down to storage right here so in storage that's where you will find Google Cloud Storage so you can click that one right there as well and once you click that it's going to bring you to the home page of Google Cloud Storage Packets and here you will be shown the number of packets that you currently have if you don't have anything here this page might be empty but for me I do currently have three um, packets available that I've created previously so to create a packet um, all you have to do is go up here uh, there's a create button up here so I just create that one just click it and uh, it's going to lead you to this new page where you are asked to provide the details for your pocket name so for example here I'm going to enter my pocket name remember this is going to be a globally unique so if you enter a name that somebody else has used then you will it will error out so let's for this purpose let's uh, let's say let's say demo packet most likely that has been taken but who knows let's just let's just I mean let's use demo bucket and click continue all right so you'll see just like I predicted this has been taken so uh, how about we do demo bucket and I add a bunch of numbers I don't know five two three one I don't know that seems to be unique enough let's see okay that's so that went through so in, in, in the next step here, it's going to ask you for the location. So I'm going to leave this one as default. Um, I mean, if you, for your case, you can choose, if you have a specific region that you want this packet to be created, you go ahead and do that. But for this demo purpose, I'm going to leave this one as default. So that is multi-region. I'm going to click next. In this, in this part here, it's going to ask you the storage class uh for your pocket and basically this is for your objects that you'll be uploading to this bucket um with uh, i did a video explaining uh the storage classes that are contained in google cloud storage if you have not watched that video i highly recommend that you go and watch it uh so there are these are the available storage classes that are, uh, gcs provides so we have standard near line call line and archive and auto class so for me just for this demo i'm going to leave it in standard and i'm going to click continue and in this part this is where it's going to ask you for access i mean control access to the objects so this is basically permissions um, that you you may need to enforce 
for your objects that will be uploaded to this bucket. So for me, I'm just going to leave it to this uniform access control and uh, click continue. And then I believe this is the last step. It's going to ask you to choose to protect your, your objects. Uh, so th this is uh, for this, I mean, for this choice here, you can leave it as none. I mean, I'm going to leave it as none, but you can also decide to have uh, object versioning for for your packet so this is where for example say you deleted an object in your packet uh it's um when you delete it it's going to keep a fashion so there will be fashions that will be stored for that object so that you you you, you know it will allow you to recover uh, some of the objects in, in, in case you need them uh, and some some others are like retention policies so all of this i mean for this purpose i'm not going to do anything and data encryption I'm not going to um, do anything here. Uh, I mean, by default, Google encrypts your data in Google Cloud Storage. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to leave this option here. But if you have, say, a customer managed encryption key that you have and you want to use that to encrypt your objects, then you can go ahead and do that. But for me, I'm just going to leave this one as default. So, I think those are the only options available here. So, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and click create and uh, this window pops up asking me if I want to restrict public access. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave that option checked. So I'm going to confirm. So yeah, our bucket is now created. So if you see, this is the name for that bucket that we specified. And if you go here in the bucket list, now you should be able to see that bucket uh, in the list of packets that you have available for you. So that's that bucket that we created. And currently we do not have any, uh, we do not have any object in this bucket. So that is um, uh, the process of creating a packet in Google Cloud Storage. So let's go ahead and upload files to this packet that we just created. So to do that, you can, um, I mean, you can upload a folder if you have a folder that contains all your data. Uh, but for me, I'm just going to upload one file. So I'm going to click that. So I'm going to click upload files. And uh, right here, I you know, just choose the directory that you you have your data, if you have files that you want to, to, to do. So this is one of the... Um, Bucket that I usually use this CCP, so I'm going to go in there, and I, I have like a bunch of like test files that I usually, you know, I was playing with before. So if you have any data that you want to upload, I'm just, you know, so I'm just going to basically choose one here. So let's choose this file here for post on marathon winners. Um, yeah, just click that and pada, your file is right here. So you have uploaded your file, and. Yeah, this file currently, that's all of these properties, like the size, the type, when it was created, the storage class, when it was modified. So, you know, today is May 13th. So this is, uh, it's just going to lock the date when this file was created. Um, yeah, so that is, that is it. You can upload as many files as you have. And um, yeah, that is, it's just as simple as that. So that's the, through the browser fashion. So the other option um, or the other method to upload files to your Google Cloud storage packet is through the command line. So I'm going to show you that uh, method right now, basically how you can create the same process really, you know, the same process that we went through, how to create a packet and upload file to it through the command line. So to do that, um, I'm going to switch over to my VS Code. And again, if you have not watched my previous video, I walked you through the process of connecting your VS Code to your GCP account. And that was made possible by enabling um, this extension called Cloud Code. So we've done that previously, but you know, if, if you if you've learned that, please go ahead and watch that video that I made showing you how to connect your VS Code to your Google Cloud Platform account. And, and that way you can interact with the services uh, 
that Google Cloud provides basically all the services. It could be GCP, I mean, it could be uh, instances, the compute instances, it could be Google Cloud Storage, it could be Kubernetes, it could be all of those other services. You, 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 you know, when you enable Google Cloud Code, you will be able to run some commands in CLI and create objects in your Google Cloud platform. So again, for this, for this, for this uh, purpose, I just wanted to show you how to create a bucket and upload files to it using command line. So we have here uh, our Cloud code and what is what that is going to allow us to do really is to run gsutil commands so gsutil commands if you're not familiar with it, it it's a command that lets you interact with google cloud storage so basically you 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 can use that command to create packets and upload objects to that packet so for example that command if i can just show you if i type gsutil um ls so ls is going to list the, the number of packets uh that you have currently so these are the num these are the packets that i do currently have in my account or in my packet so if you see just look at this i currently have four and this is the one we just created so you can see the same this are, this are, you know this is the list of those packets so you can see this just yes, the command is quite powerful and it lets you interact with your uh with your um, your pocket and the objects in it. So, yeah, so let's um, create a pocket now. So we created this one before, let's create another one using the command line, uh, gsutil command. So to do that, what you all, what, what you just need to do is say gsutil and then make pocket and put the name of your packet. So this is gsutil and then just colon double slash, uh, double forward slash, and the name of your packet. So let's just, let me just say Clio test packet and uh, end it. So basically, this is the name of the packet that should be created. So for me, it's created that packet. So again, the command is gsutil mp and GS, so this is basically the, the name convention. Uh, so this is the full path. So you just enter the full path, GS uh, colon forward slash two, uh, two double forward slashes, and then the name of your packet. So that is going to create the packet for you. So uh, now if you list the packets, we should be able to see this packet created. So, and it is right there. So if we go to the browser, we should also be able to see this packet there as well. So right now, it's not there, but if we refresh, we should be able to see that packet right here. So yeah, so that is how you create a packet from command line using gsutil. Now, if you want to upload files to this packet, how do you do that? So let's go ahead and do that. So using gsutil command, so you the way to do that is gsutil and copy. So basically, you copy the data to your pocket from your local environment. So currently, I'm in this uh, directory and I do have some files here as well. So this is this is just this is the working uh, folder. This is the the folder that I'm working out of, and here I did update. I, I uploaded some files here. So these are the files that are listed currently for me in this uh, directory here. So I'm going to upload one of these files. Let's just upload the same one that we uploaded to the other packet or to create it through the browser. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Let me just clear this. Again, let's list that and then let's see gsutil copy. So we are going to copy this file here to our packet. Again, let me let me list the packets because I don't know if I will get it right. So let's list our packet packets. So these are the packets we have, and we want to upload this file here, the Boston Marathon winners, to this packet that we just created. So how do we do that? So you say yes, you tell 
copy and then specify the name so the name of the file we want to copy is this one here and we want to copy that to this bucket so you just put the bucket right there okay and um, actually before I execute this command I just want to show you that in this bucket currently we do not have anything so and you know that, that is right so because we just created it there's nothing in it but let's just again go and make sure that there's nothing in that bucket so this is that bucket let me refresh it and then click in there it is empty there's no file in there so if we execute this command we should be able to see this file appear right here so let's go ahead and do that so again yes you did copy and then the name of the file and the name of the bucket so let's do that so yep so that one executed you know it's showing you that here that it's copying the file name and uh it's been uploaded so here one file has been uploaded and um so let's go ahead and check it in our browser if that file is showing up so let's refresh it here and uh yeah so here we go that file has been uploaded successfully to our packet so that is how you do that through the command line okay so yeah that is that is the process really you know so i've sh showed you two ways of uploading uh, i mean for two ways of creating and uploading files to your google cloud storage and uh, one way is through the browser that's where you can create the packet and upload files in the packet itself into the packet so i did show you uh, um, I, I walked you through the process of creating that through the browser and we created this packet and uploaded a file to it and then i also showed you how to do it through the command line using the gsutil command again if you do not have this gsutil command if i mean if you open your fs studio code and you try to run this gsutil command and it is throwing you an error most likely you may not have enabled the extension that lets you to do that and that extension is cloud code and the way to do that is through the extension you go to extension add extensions and then search cloud code and cloud code is basically an sdk software development kit that google created and it's it has been integrated with fierce code so all you have to do is download it in fierce code and it's going to let you interact with google cloud platform services so i have installed it and uh, i did show you through that process in an earlier video so if you have not watched that video please go ahead and do so so that is it guys that's just the process i wanted to show you there are like several other commands that you could do using command line for example you could delete a packet you could uh, rename a packet you could delete objects within a packet through the command line just the same operations that you can perform in your browser so that is the process guys if you want to create a packet either through the browser or through the command line so yeah i mean if you have any question about this video please go ahead and post it in the comments but again most important go ahead and subscribe to this channel please that is one way of supporting me like the videos put comments that's one way of showing me if you guys are liking those videos and it's going to encourage me to keep making more videos if you have any suggestions of how to on, on how to improve these videos please let me know in the comments and i will really appreciate again please subscribe if you have not done so and thank you so much for watching